The Corsair Void Pro headset features comfortable microfiber, mesh fabric, and memory foam ear cups, custom-tuned 50mm neodymium drivers with Dolby Headphone 7.1 surround support, and a unidirectional noise-canceling microphone with LED mute indicator. Available in RGB and wireless trim too, so click the link in the description for more information. Excellent! What's up guys, how's it going? Welcome to Paul's Hardware. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different than my typical videos because I have a new product here. It's from Yamaha. It is the MG10XU and it's basically a soundboard. I've gotten this device for a very specific reason and that is because of Kyle. That's right, hashtag blame Kyle. Whenever we're doing a live show here, things can get a little loud sometimes. We, we drink a few beers and that kind of thing. And people have constantly been telling me, you need to add a compressor. So there's software solutions for that. I looked into those and I basically decided, you know what? A soundboard upgrade would probably do me good right now. So I ended up getting this. Uh, it's got a compressor built into it. I'm gonna be doing an unboxing and a little bit of brief testing today, but please bear in mind, I am by no means an audiophile. I'm by no means uh, a professional when it comes to analyzing this type of product. So just wanted to have some fun and uh, take you guys along for the ride, see how things go. So uh, here goes, starting off with an unboxing in just a moment, but I also wanted to give a, a quick plug and this is not paid for or endorsed at all by Sweetwater. I bought this directly from them, and they sent me a, 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 a big old book of, of their products, which I'm probably not gonna be used to be honest, but look, they, they sent me candy, because it's sweet, sweet water, and that seems to be sweet water and Primo Chill. Good job sending candy along with the products that go in there, as well as a thank you and everything, so. Again, this is my first experience with sweet water. They actually called me after I placed the order, which I thought was a little weird, but they seem like really nice people, and if you don't wanna feed the Amazon beast, then, Maybe check Sweetwater out. All right. It's a lot of tape. Go. Right. That was easy. It's heavier than the other one. That's how you know something's high quality, like power supplies and sound soundboards and they're heavy. All right, well, there's the unboxing. There wasn't a whole lot as far, I mean, you know, styrofoam packaging, big old power brick with uh, what looks like a BNC connector. I like that. I'm a big fan of BNC connectors. So that's a plug into that. That's That feels more professional. Uh, and I like that the brick isn't like part of the plug. That's convenient too, I guess. Uh, all right, soundboard itself is right there. Uh, this is an eight channel board. Uh, it's got four uh, powered XLR inputs with phantom power. And then it's got a bunch of extra quarter inch inputs. It's also got XLR for stereo output. Uh, and then these yellow knobs right here are the one knob compressor functions. So um, rather than me continuing to speak as if I know uh, a lot of the details and ins and outs of a, a soundboard like this, uh, wait, I do know some things. These are equalizers. You can just see an equalizer right there. And it's got a bunch of uh, effects also built in and they're all labeled right there. So we might be testing some of those out. So I think what I should do here is learn by doing, uh, and we'll take this microphone, which is an ADK Audio Deutschkraft uh, A51 Type 3 Class A Solid State. I believe this is a condenser mic, if I'm not mistaken. And actually, Joe had this, and uh, he, he offered it to me a while ago, and I've done nothing with it, so we're gonna test it out right now. All right, I'm recording on the Zoom H6 now, too, so that you can hear what I'm saying into the microphone. No cussing, Joe. Ah, sorry, sorry, Joe. Sorry, Joe. What? Joe in the future, if you're watching, if you're listening to this track. So guys, I think we've gotten the, this basic setup going on right now. Um, I apologize, I do not have a proper shock mount for this microphone, which is really not the way I should be working it. Also, I'm listening to myself talk, which is, sounds kind of awkward, although it sounds, it sounds pretty nice. One of the reasons I, I wanted to get this soundboard here is because my, my assumption is that it, it, since it costs more money, the internal, uh, uh, the quality of the internals as far as the DAX uh, is going to be better. And I, I know that's just an assumption, but I mean, I'm, I'm going from a, a mono price unit that costs uh, maybe 70 or 80 bucks to this unit, which is around 200. Also need to correct myself. This is a 10 channel unit, not an eight channel. I confused myself because I was looking at a bunch of them online and I ended up going with this one. 
largely due to the fact, again, that it's got a compressor. Now, compressor is gonna limit the sound output when things get really loud, to, to put it simply, um, and that is a problem that Kyle seems to have when he comes over and has a few drinks, is that he goes from being like, bottle. Ah! Oh my God! Yes! Yeah! That's what Kyle sounds like. Uh, what happens when you turn the compressor all the way up? We now have maximum compression. Max compression. Does it sound any different? I have no idea. Tuesday, 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 awesome hardware live from Southern California with beer technology as well as Kyle. So just to give a little bit further demonstration here, uh, Joe brought his guitar over. He's left-handed. That's why he's playing and not me. Also, he's much better guitar mm -hmm. than I am. So basically we've got the guitar wired in through the quarter inch. Uh, there's a foot switch option on here. Uh, like we said, there's all these different effects and stuff to play with. And then I'm recording what Joe is, is playing uh, on separately on the H4, or the H6 over here, just so we have that going too. I'm gonna pretend like I can hear the special effects and stuff <laughs> like that. So far this is uh, course one. Oh yeah, there's like a little switch here. You can like select uh, the effects, which is pretty cool. You push down to like select it. Oh, there you go. Then I believe you can you can also individually control the level of the effects. So yeah. you can increase or decrease it. That's a zero. That's ten. Can you sing in that thing? I can try. Just bring myself up here. A little bit, a little bit. Can you hear me? Check. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, because oh, the phantom, phantom power. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Joe. Oh. Wow. <laughs> does, that, does that pretty bad? In my ears. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Just, all right, am I, am I coming through now, too? Yeah. Okay. Am I loud enough? Can you hear me? Well, I screamed bloody murder. Yeah, That's true. Okay. Awake, shake dreams from your hair, my pretty child, my sweet. Choose your day, choose the sign of the day, the day's divinity. First thing you see. That's, that's the doors, by the way. <laughs> The other cool thing I'm I'm kind of thinking might be fun to try out is using the effects on the vocals. Is there? Yeah. See this effects mirror? There's okay. Not here. All right. Yeah. So so I can add. Oh. Oh. Well, now it sounds like I'm in a a very small but echoey room. The church of Paul. It's it's a very that's an interesting effect. All right. I'm gonna let's 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 mess with these. It's ch oh yeah, oh yeah. This is what we're gonna use to introduce the live show from now on. You're watching awesome hardware. You've come to supply your soul to the gods of technology to have it consumed in the fires of rage and fire and stuff. Oh, that's gonna be so much fun. Oh, radio voice, what's that? Radio voice? Radio voice. Oh, I see. It's, it gives you like the old timey radio voice feel. Hey, everyone, we're reporting live. So this reminds me of like the Hindenburg thing. It's like, oh, the humanity of it all. Is... There's the compressor. The compressor doing its job. I like that there's also two knobs for compression, so I can use one on Kyle and one on me. <laughs> Super convenient. All right, uh, enough with the enough with the radio voice thing. Okay guys, we're having way too much fun, but uh, here's one last audio comparison, and this is completely invalid and means nothing because it's a completely different mic being used here versus up here. But uh, here is me talking on this new setup with this ADK microphone. How's it sound? Pretty good? And now here's me on the old audio setup, which uh, is probably crappy and insufficient now because it's old and therefore must be crappy, whereas new stuff must be better. That's how we validate our purchases.
But anyway, thank you for sticking with us through this video. I know it's been a little bit random, a little off the cuff, a little bit different from the norm, but uh, I hope you guys have appreciated it and enjoyed it to some degree at least. And of course, your feedback is very much uh, required down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of this video. Let me know if you'd like to see more randomness when I get new stuff in, just like pull it out of the box, give it a shot, see how it works. Uh, hit the thumbs up button, of course, if you enjoyed this video as well. Thank you very much to Joe for being here, helping filming, and also uh, by uh, serenading us with his guitar skills. And thanks to all you guys for watching as well. We'll see you guys in the next video.